Hi friends, we will solve problem on curvilinear motion. Just see what is given in problem. A car starts from rest on a curved road of 250 meter radius and accelerates at constant tangential acceleration of 0.6 meter per second square. That means AT is given, rho is given as 250 meters. Determine the distance and the time for which the car will travel before the magnitude of total acceleration attained by it becomes 0.75 meters per second square. Let me this is a resultant acceleration of particle. What is given in problem one by one if you note down. First one, car starts from rest. That means what initial velocity of car is zero. Why it is u zero? Car starts from rest. As car starts from rest, u is zero. Along a curved road of 250 meter radius, that means rho radius of curvature of path is given 250 meters and accelerates at constant tangential acceleration of 0.6 meter per second square. That means what is given a suffix t tangential component of acceleration 0.6 meters per second square. So, initial velocity is 0, rho is given, a t is given. Determine the distance and the time for which car will travel before the magnitude of total acceleration attained by it becomes 0.75 meters per second square. That means what is given A equal to 0.75 meters per second square. See A t is given, resultant acceleration is also given, where resultant acceleration A is always equal to what? So, it is a t square plus a n square is a square. Now, you know a t is 0.6, you know resultant acceleration is 0.75, that means easily you will get what? a n, a n is possible, normal component of acceleration. Therefore, a is a 0.75, it is a square, a t is a 0.6, it is a square plus a n square. Using calculator, you will find out what will get here normal component of acceleration answer comes out to be 0.45 meters per second square. Now, as you know a n normal component of acceleration is always directed towards center of curvature of path and its magnitude magnitude of a n is given by v square upon rho. Now, a n you know radius of curvature of path you know easily will get what is the velocity of particle when it attains this 0.75 meter per second square as resultant acceleration. Therefore, a n normal component of acceleration is what v square upon rho. Therefore, a n what we calculated is 0.45 v is unknown v square upon radius of curvature of path is given as 250 meters. Using calculator, you will find out what will get here, what is the velocity of this particle that is 10.61 meters per second. That means, particle starts from rest and now when it attain this resultant acceleration of 0.75 meter per second square, then what velocity it attains is 10.61 meters per second. Now, as you know, the initial velocity is 0. You know final velocity comes out to be 10.61 meters per second and you know tangential component of acceleration is given as 0.6 meters per second square, where tangential component of acceleration is responsible for change in magnitude of velocity. Therefore, relation between u, v and a t is available in terms of time t as well as in terms of s. Yes. But what is asking problem? how much distance this car will travel. Now, yes, you have to find out. That means, if I write what is the yes now. So, what relation will use here? Relation between u, v and yes as what? u square equal to v square equal to u square plus 2 into a t into s. You know, velocity is what? 10.61. It is square. Initial velocity is 0 plus 2 into 0.6 and what will get here? s using calculator you will find out we will get how much distance that car will travel that s comes out to be 93.81 meters. Once we will get this s now next part what is asking problem ki 
how much distance it travels and how much time it travels. That means you have to find out what? Time also. Now you know initial velocity, zero. Final velocity, you know. Tangential component of acceleration also, you know. What you know, distance it travelled. That means if you want to find out how much time it takes, simple equation of kinematics if you use S equal to ut plus half, this one is a tangential component of acceleration into t square. Yes, if you substitute here 93.81, u is 0 plus half a t, tangential component of acceleration is given as 0 0.6 into what t square. Therefore, using calculator you will find out you will get how much time that car will travel, answer comes out to be 17.68 seconds. Car travels for 17.68 seconds and it covers a distance of 93.81 meters. Thank you.